It is 7:12 right now. Startling new research says more than half of men act differently towards women due to the Me Too era. The study comes from an IU professor who found that some men are more reserved now. News 8's Katie Wisely got a chance to talk to that professor. Yeah, that's right, you guys. Good morning. So he says that 40% of the U.S. adult population is single at any given time. Now, the research comes from the ninth annual Singles in America study with Match. 5,000 single Americans took part, and one IU professor says more than half of single men say the movement changes the game in dating. And 15, and most IU students are headed to class. Women have a lot of more power now. And I think that this movement, like, was supposed to happen. Freshman Summer Johnson says the Me Too movement was long overdue. A lot of guys try to, like, understand women more now, and I think that they try to respect women just because of the movement. And it's had an impact on young men. I feel like they go out of their way to try to make sure that they're not crossing any boundaries or anything like that. Two years ago, the story broke of Harvey Weinstein's sexual abuse allegations. Since women all over the world have used the hashtag MeToo on social media to tell their story. We also know that the Me Too movement brought to light that a lot of these troublesome behaviors were on the part of men. Which is why Dr. Justin Garcia, a leader of the Kinsey Institute at IU, wanted to ask men if the movement has changed their behavior. 40% of men said they're a bit more reserved at work and 34% of men said they're a bit more reserved on a date. Um, so those are pretty big numbers to, to that, that suggest to us that um, a large numbers of men are, are behaving differently. Sociologist Isabel Hunt says most men don't even realize what they say might be offensive to women. Men and women are not enemies to each other, but this really allows us to take a look at where are we at, how can we bring more balance and compassion into the relationship between men and women, However, I, I also noticed that a lot of the Me Too has turned into revenge. So we're just turning tables, uh, but we create the same scenario, just different positions. And that's where it becomes dangerous. IU freshman William Bonilla says there's not much talk about the movement among men on campus. I feel like with time it will um, gain popularity and more people will be, you know, feel comfortable talking about it. But not all men are oblivious. Staying within like borders and um, respecting what they want and listening to what they want and, you know, working with them and not doing anything forcefully. Dr. Garcia says the next step, finding a middle zone, which isn't easy. They don't want to be so extreme that they're afraid to say anything to someone, particularly of a different gender, but um, they also don't want discrimination and harassment. So finding that place is not easy. And we're trying to use research to chip away at understanding all the issues that are there to help inform better policies, better practices at workplace, and also in our study, in people's dating lives. As for students, the focus opening their eyes and ears now more than ever. Since 2010, Dr. Garcia has served as scientific advisor to Match. He is co-author of Evolution and Human, Human Sexual Behavior. His next book is titled The Intimate Animal. That's fascinating research. Katie, thanks for bringing it to us. It's 715.